The bells of Shandon chimed in the start of the festival. Maybe an unusual way of getting things going until you saw who was at the foot of the famous Cork steeple. From Preservation Hall, New Orleans, the famous De Jan's Olympia Brass Band, straight from the cradle of jazz. It was early in the morning for the crowds to be watching, but they were around the city later in the day. The sound of jazz is worth four million pounds to Cork this weekend, as Guinness pumps in quarter of a million pounds in sponsorship to provide round-the-clock music in 35 pubs and hotels which will have been thronged by some 30,000 people by the time the festival ends on Monday. When it all began, back in 1978, the festival had a budget of only £7,000 and a somewhat uncertain future. Nine years later, it's firmly established as a leading international event. So this weekend, amidst all its problems of unemployment, litter disputes and sundry other difficulties, the city by the Lee is swinging to the sound of jazz a sound worth millions of pounds as people from all over the country forget their cares in Ireland's cradle of jazz. 